We begin today with the game of intergender football. The girls really lack any type of line presence, so Darren Bates over here sacks the QB off the opening snap. They're getting their misogyny on, and DJ Nay decides that this is the moment to put her filthy ass hands in Sticky's filthy ass mouth. The girls are down by three, and it's the last play of the game. This random triangle is talking cash shit, so they bet some ice cream on it. In the huddle, the dark-skinned girls are blue, and that isn't relevant, but it's definitely relevant. Penny lays out the play. The ball is going to her. They start off with a hold on the line, so this is essentially a dead play. Triangle is a DB with a flat top, so you just know he about to get snagged on. Penny even hits her gritty into the end zone, which is crazy. This is why misogyny is risky, because if she mossy your ass, you gonna look really bad. The next day at school, the football team is practicing punt returns or something because what the hell are they lined up in? Cheerleaders tragically suffer a terrible double inverse pyramid accident? A couple of them might have died, it looks like. Penny and Zoe are witnesses to this tragedy, tragically. Luckily, they get over it fast and they start talking about the upcoming dance. The football team is trash, so they almost hit this random group 50 yards away from play. Penny snags this shit with one hand? She might be a generational talent, Loki. The triangle starts trying to spit trash game, then gets mad when Penny talks about how she sunned him yesterday. He says if he could have hit her ass, then it would have been a different story, which is cat because this dude wasn't even close to hitting her. Zoe starts Loki talking for Penny and starts saying she will ball all y'all up. The football team responds by throwing footballs at him. He's such a man, he has to run to back up. Penny says she don't fear nothing but God and everybody on the field getting cleaned up. Penny comes home attempting to get a permission slip signed to join the football team. Oscar is mad, but Penny tells him none of these little dudes can even catch her. So how could she get hurt? Oscar does not approve. Women cannot play men's sports. They don't know how to handle the pain. Trudy asks, what about childbirth? And that's one of those lines women got that really doesn't have a response yet. Trudy tells Penny that she'll sign the permission slip. The next day, football practice all the boys are shocked as eels orgasming to see penny on the field all padded up coach calls everyone up to give him their permission slips and when penny tries he tells her that cheerleading trials are over there she tells him that she's here to try out for football he tells her sure baby doll you tried penny then informs him that there's no rule that says that she can't play football but there's plenty of them about calling her baby doll he then hits her with a little bit more misogyny and then tells her to go home and bake a cake these eight girls come out of nowhere and start chanting let penny play like seven times and it has worn down the coach he tells her to get out there but if she get hurt that's on you chump bailey is lined up in press coverage talking about how locked down he is she kills him off the line and catches a deep ball over top for a touchdown the coach can't believe that he can't even handle a girl he says run that shit back he makes sure to start off with a headbutt that'll get you kicked out the league after assaulting this girl eight inches shorter than him because he can't guard her everyone is cheering about how strong and masculine he is then she just gets up and runs past his ass anyways because nobody's paying attention goofy ass the coach is announcing the cuts for the team everyone made a team that is everyone besides the girl they make sure to highlight even the gay kid made it over her so if you think about it technically it's kind of progressive the coach makes sure to say no girl will ever play for his team this 270 degree shape proceeds to say girls really can't compete with boys in football when he's the main one getting cooked he then immediately one sentence later tries to ask her out a lot of y'all be acting like this as grown-ass adults don't do this penny is home complaining about how none of them boys could even lace up her cleats but Oscar is pretty happy that Penny's dreams are dead. Luckily, at that moment, Zoe walks in with the lawyer. She says they're going to sue the chauvinistic pigs off that hillbilly coach. I definitely thought they were going to say sue the shit out of them. Gloria Cochran, played by We the People with Gloria Alred, is about to get kicked out because Oscar doesn't want to pay for something that he doesn't even believe in. She says she'll just do it for clout. Judge Maybelline Ephraim from Divorce Court is here, and I actually typed up that joke before I realized it's literally Maybelline Ephraim from Divorce Court. I'll be watching too much daytime tv the football team is just as ass in the court as they were on the field so they take another l penny is now the global face of women's football at their next game a whole new set of cheerleaders perish tragically penny don't have any place on the field she don't even have a place on the bench the coach is not gonna play her so the crowd starts up another chant he's grown more resistant to repeated words so he still ain't putting her in coach said the court says she had to be on a team but you can't litigate for play play boy play girl in this sense 
Lawrence due to injuries, the coach is ready to send in the water boy, who is apparently his son, but he's literally shook. It's Penny's time to shine, and the crowd is ecstatic. The coach gives her the play. Drag 29 to triangle. In the huddle, the team is surprised to see Penny running up. She tells them to play. Drag 29 to the best receiver out here. Me. She runs the streak, so I don't know if she actually studied the playbook. She don't do the drag whatsoever. But she still manages to get flattened by the Oakland Raiders. Not a soul block for her. A hush grows over the crowd. Penny might be dead. At that moment, she climbs out the hole, and she tells them to give her the ball if y'all want to win. The isosceles is isolated in his hate, and... Everyone is telling him that he's trash and we're giving the ball to Penny. She goes out and does everything. She's mossing defenders and stiff arming haters on offense. She even gets a pick six and kicks an extra point. This is one of the greatest single game performances of all time. They show her scoring like seven touchdowns, but somehow they're down by five coming into the last play. The triangle is still acting like a square and he wants to circle. Penny even says, give his sorry ass the ball. They step up for the snap and this dude Omar has amazing pocket presence. He makes his first First read, triangle. He's doubled. He makes a second read. Penny, she's wide open. Under more heat than a buffet warmer, Omar manages to get the ball in the air. The pass has a little bit too much air in it though, so Penny has to make a dive. She has the ball in her fingertips, but she's not wearing gloves. She can't manage to tuck in her elbows, so when she hits the ground, the pass falls incomplete. Penny goes from balling to balling, and she has to be carried off the field. It's time for the homecoming dance. La Cienega is roasting Penny for her butterfinger and Penny is down. Oscar is her chaperone slash date and he's trying his best to cheer her back up. Everyone starts giving Penny love for being the only person who scored. Not even one, like seven of them things. The triangle truly becomes half a square this day because he apologizes for hating and asks if he can get a dance. Penny is still in middle school so she falls for that BS.